Okay, my guys, uh, I'm going to start again. It's going to be probably the fourth time I'm demoing a candle, okay, as per your request. Uh, I'm modeling a 3D candle. This will be good for my 10s and my 12s. Uh, the sculpting part will be different for grade 12s, okay? So we're just going to start with creating a candle and uh, including a wick, okay? So let me just, why oh, is a beach ball going on here? I have no idea. Okay, so something like this. Okay, so you can see I have two wicks here, and it's totally extruded from here. Now, you can make that separately, and it really looks like a tree, doesn't it, from grade 9 project, where it's a cone. You can take a cone and put that on top. That's pretty much your wick, okay? So I'm going to pan out here for a second, and I'm going to start around here. Okay, that's our goal. So we are going to make a cylinder. I'm going to reduce the segments, which is the edges, vertices, and so forth. And then so that we don't need 32 sides here, right? Like 32 edges. All right, so watch this. Shift A, mesh, I'll go to cell there, right? Whatever you do, do not click out anywhere. You need to come here, open that little drop down at cylinder. You see it's 32, right? So I'll just change it to 12. Right, even, yeah, 12 is fine. Okay, there it is. The radius, um, it's massive right now. So I'll just go 0.4 and the height, 0.6. I don't know, making this up right now, okay? So if you look at it here, does this really make any sense to you? Nope. I've already committed to it. It's over. So now I'm just going to hold my mouse out, bring the spider web in, S, and I'm just going to press scale, and I'm going to, I would normally press S and Z, and just make this taller, okay? Something like that. Press the period key on the, not on the keypad, not on your, um, above command or control on your keyboard, okay? So this is it, we start here. A couple things, okay? First of all, I don't have a reference here, but I think we both, we all know like what a candle looks like. So let's give it some character, okay? First off, you notice over there, I have um, edges, loops. So this is exactly like the chest piece, the, the, the rook. So if I tab into it, right? And I'm gonna add just a loop cut, one loop cut. Left click and don't let it go. Just let it go somewhere here. Left click, leave it, and you can even come down here and do stuff like that. Okay, that's good enough already. The minute I leave, I get out of this loop cut, that loop is going to be selected, right? So if I go to move now, see, it's selected for me. I don't have to click or anything. So if I just press S right here for the spider web, a little like that, okay? We'll go here, option left click over here, and you've got the edges, okay? So look, I did it with verts. With verts, you left click on here, the whole thing is selected. Look, if I click on one. So the easier method is go across, right? Go across, so I'll click out again, left click, the whole loop is selected. You can do that here. Click out, left click, same thing as you did with the chest piece. Again, little S, little S, move your mouse away, let Spidey kick in, let the webs kick in. That's pretty sweet. Already this is looking way better than before with just a cylinder. Okay, we don't need a lot of detail because this is gonna be in your shot. And unless we're zooming up with a camera, we're not gonna see a lot of the detail, okay? So that's that next thing. Let's go into face mode, which is number three on the keypad here, right above, uh, sorry, the keyboard, not three keypad, the big difference. So we're gonna go into face mode. I'm gonna select this. And I'm gonna press I for inset. I prefer the letter I instead of this nonsense over here. I don't know what, what Blender's doing. So you gotta left click, push it in. Okay, now watch the difference, okay? I'll go to move, undo for a sec, come back and select it. Press I for inset. That's that that to me is the Spidey method. Okay, now I can actually see how this is already has the X Y Z because I'm in move, right? So I just go up a bit. So this is basically a bevel, okay, for other classes. Okay, so this is basically a bevels and extrude and scale, and then you add edges and so on. So if I press I again, look, sweet, and I just move it down a bit, right? Just like that. So we're giving character to it. Other people call it texture. I in See, I'll go again, just go up a bit, whatever. I'm just making this up, guys, okay? There's no perfect method. So that's cool, and stop here. So that's one. I should have duplicated, okay? I should have made a bunch of these, but it doesn't matter, and then kind of tweak them a bit. For example, watch. You could, you could basically go into orthographic view here, go into Superman mode, okay? Go to vertex for tab. Hang on, let's just come in. Come on, dude. This one's selected tab and my pet peeve is i gotta switch this keyboard here all right so look i'm gonna select these faces right here remember i'm in superman mode which is x-ray mode right hey okay, look i'm gonna kind of come out here 
let the spider web come in, press R. See, I can even do stuff like that if I wanted to. See what I mean? I can kind of tilt it, rotate it. All I do is I move my mouse away, press R, and let Spidey do its thing for me. All right, sweet. Let's come back. All right, get out of this. Bye-bye. So that's a lot better than straight up, isn't it? All right. So now we're going to come back in. So I'm going to tab out. And what I could do here, I can duplicate this, Shift D and press Y. So there's one. Do me a favor, folks. When you're duplicating these, don't put them all looking the same way, okay? So watch. Get your rotate tool here. Just make a difference, right? So now this already looks different than the other one in this shot. If this was the view, this is this way. I can go to scale, make it taller, and so forth. Okay, just a bit taller. There you go. Okay? So already there's a difference. Come back to the point of this video tutorial is to add the wick and have two colors in here. Okay, one of them is going to be a glow, which is a mission in morning. A mission in Blender is uh, glow. Tab in. Let's go back to faces right here. Boom. Select the face. Watch this. All I'm doing is holding the middle scroll down to orbit around. If I hold middle scroll and shift, I pan. All right. Let's do another inset. I basically something like that. And I'm going to come up a bit, whatever, doesn't matter. You go the other way. It doesn't really matter, okay? We're not going to see it this close. So E for extrude. Oh, okay. So we're going to do E for extrude. And we're going to extrude up. We're going to scale out. Then we're going to extrude again and scale in. And that's pretty much the wick, okay? That's all I'm doing. So E for extrude. We'll watch. E. And then we'll move out and hold S. Let Spidey do his thing. There. Okay? And then we're going to, okay, I'm just going to, Sorry, I'm just gonna just press forward slash so I can hide everything out of there. Okay, so we're gonna do E again, something like that, and then S out here, and then bring it in. All right, there you go. Make sure you don't overdo it. All right, so this is what I have. Let's stay in orthographic view. Whoa, oh, that looks wild, eh? It looks great, I love it. Anyway, let's go with it, because it's on an angle, right? It's perpendicular, perfectly fine. So, a <clears throat> couple things. Let's insert a loop cut. Boom. Watch this. Move. Select it for me. Thank you. Love it. Now, we're going to zoom in here. We're going to create an option left click here. The whole ring is selected. So, you can decide. You can come in, do whatever you want. Come in this way. Okay? There you go. You want to rotate this, feel free to do it here like that. Option left click if you want, and if you want to, your perfectionist R, whatever you want to go in the angle and go like that, whatever it's all good. And then I'm going to come over here in x ray mode, which is super bend mode. Okay, I'm going to go into vertex here, select all these pieces, and kind of bring this one over something like that. Okay, there we go. All right, and then S, oops, not Z, S dude. Here we go. All right, there it is. I've got all this. Thank you. I'll take these ones and which way do I want to go? Something like that, maybe. Okay, this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Okay, all good. Okay, you can come in from the side and scale it in. It doesn't really matter. Look, I go to scale here. I can flatten it in that way if I want. Look, I can take all of these and then kind of bring it in a bit. It doesn't really matter, guys. Look, take all of this here. Be careful that you don't select anything else, right? I really press that myself. Okay, we're done. How about let's go back to shaded mode? Okay, get out of there, mister. Okay, this is cool. So, part two of this demo. All right, I'm going to name it Candle Demo. All right, there it is. That's named. All right, so let's do color time. Let's get in here. So, you know, the beach ball is our friend. Okay, come on. Here we go, way down here. Beach ball, right? New. Wait for it. Double click. Candle. I'm going to call this one. I don't know. Yellow. Okay. Whatever. Something like that. Come in here. Give it a color. And we're not going to see anything, are we? Because we don't have this mode here, right? Shading. This is flat. Okay. This is color. So look at that. The whole thing is done. Whoa. That was quick. But what I want to do is have this a different color, but it's one piece, Mr. Bond. What do we do? We just add another material here. Okay. Uh, new, sorry, new, and then come in here. CW, candle underscore W is my wick. 
not John Wick. It's just a wick. All right, we're going to go with something like an orange red. That's a color, but we want more than that, don't we? We want it to glow, which is up for here. Don't come down here and play with all the glow down here, emissions, all that. That's not what I want you to do. I just want you to come in here where it says surface, change it from principal to emission, okay? And now we're going to come in here again, do the same thing, change the color to orange red, okay? Something like that. And we're going to crank a number here, like just put in a 10. Put, I mean, place 10, but you're not going to see anything happen, okay? All right, so I'm stepping, I'm jumping ahead now. Don't worry about any of this right now, the effects of it. What we want to do now is select these pieces. So we need to go to tab, select these faces. So what if I go into orthographic view? And I do something like this. What if I go in here, value? What if you come in like that or go to faces, right? Select these faces. Okay, now I've selected those faces, correct? Yes, correct. Now, because you're in edit mode, this assign comes up. See? Assign right here. So if I click assign, oh, baby, that worked. The only reason that worked is because under camera here, which is what I showed you guys yesterday, under the camera, right below the wrench and screwdriver, camera, I have bloom on. The bloom's not on. This is not blooming. There you go. Sweet. Okay. Now, I'm going to review the same thing again. So I'm going to add a third color, okay? I'm going to have fun here. I'm going to take the bottom row here, bottom ring, <laughs> option left click here. I'm just going to go a little darker, okay? So watch this. I'm going to make new. Let's go in here. Like, oh yeah. Here we go. Plus, plus, right? And new. And I'm going to go C for candle and then BTM for bottom, right? Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the picker, right? I'm scrolling here, coming here, get the picker, grab this color. However, I'm going to go a wee bit darker. Look. See that? A little darker, just for fun. I'm just, this is not how you would add a gradient. I'm just trying to give you levels of control and comfort and experience in the app, okay? And then I need to press assign or else I'm not finished. Assign it, and you can see now that's a little darker, right? Okay, so maybe I went too far. Let's go in here and uh, pick this color. Let's try that again. Maybe it's a little too, okay, why is this happening? Okay, and here, let's pick this color. I'm going to go to color weird. I'm just going to bump it a touch. So I'm just going to bring this a uh, touch lower, and that's it. So it's very subtle. Boy, that's not subtle, is it? <laughs> Let's go maybe in here. Okay, well, I've, uh, let's leave it there. And we press the sign. We're good. Now we can tab out. We're out. Okay, I said tab out. This keyboard It's killing me, honestly. All right, there. All right, so we got three colors on one candle. So let's see where else we can take advantage of this. Would be somewhere over here, wouldn't it? Look, I show this to the morning class of the great tens. So this is a jar. I did exactly the same thing. So... I have a jar, I selected the surfaces, I made a bunch of colors here, and basically that's it, okay? So I'm gonna stop recording, I hope this makes sense, and practice makes perfect, okay folks? Thank you very much, Ballion out, stop recording. Hopefully this is not gonna crash. Hey, oh, I spread them